Happy holidays from all of us here at the ZNS Television Network. Welcome back. Frank's Ice Cream continuing its efforts to mold and shape the lives of young people. The local business, known for its summer Bible study program, hosted its third annual Christmas promotion. Children ages 5 and under were asked to say a memory verse, the Lord's Prayer, or sing a song. The entries were uploaded to Frank's Ice Cream Facebook page, and the participant who got the most likes won the competition. One-year-old Halo Swain, who performed Jonathan Nelson's I Believe, captured the top spot and walked away with $1,000. Five-year-old Elijah Nixon came in second and was awarded $500, and five-year-old Janiya Thompson came in third and won $300. They also received toys. Owner Frank Auden was excited about this initiative. Over our first prize winner, because that one got over 1,000, close to 2,000 likes she had over 5,000 views we have kids with over one kiddo had over 11,000 views we have kids with up to a million views over the years and uh, all it is for people to sit down and enjoy the beauty of these kids Outen says he's grateful to sponsors who helped to make this annual program a success. He says he's especially thankful for a generous donor all the way in Michigan. A girl here in the Bahamas sent over to her cousin to like. And her cousin was watching all these children singing, praying, and saying memory voice. And in the course of doing that, this guy was so impressed with these children saying the Our Father prayers and saying memory voice. He sent us an email saying he want to become a part of this program. And this is the third year this guy been sending me $1,000 towards the program. This year, not only did he send me $1,000, yes, this year, he gave me two big bags full of toys to make it happen for these kids. Anticipation continues to build for the 2018 New Year's Day John Canoe Parade. But tonight, a local meteorologist fears that there may be some inclement weather. Shashina Roe Farkasin has more. With just a few days left before the 2018 New Year's Day John Canoe Parade, many group members are hard at work putting their final touches on costumes before they hit the parade route. But local meteorologist Trenard Tyne says they are also busy watching the weather for that day closely. Right now we do have a, a weak frontal or dry weak frontal boundary that's moving in. We may get one or two spotty showers now. But as that system slip across us tonight, we'll be sandwiched between that and a stronger system that is expected to park over us on Monday, Monday morning or so. And that will bring us some shower activity for the new year, for New Year's Day for sure. Uh, depending on the speed of the system, because we are expecting that the winds are going to, the, the pressure gradient and the winds to get tighter and the winds to get stronger behind it, so it'll push it through our area. But he says in the past, history has proven that it usually rains New Year's morning, and by the evening there are just lingering showers. However, Tyne says one thing is for sure, and that is the dip in temperature come Monday. We have with this first boundary coming through tonight, we're looking at our temperatures to be in the probably um, low uh, in the 60 range. And then with the next system, the next stronger system to come through, we're looking for our temperatures to probably dip maybe down into the mid to upper 50s. So, uh, like I said, if the winds, but it won't be too long because right now our winds are out of the northwest and north. So that's more cooler air coming with those uh, temperatures. But however, with the winds shifting out in the northeast, the cold temperature will probably be short-lived and then we'll probably slide back for the overnight period into the uh, 60 degree to 60 degree range. And for those carrying larger costumes, this meteorologist says you should monitor the wind speed before hitting the parade route. We are anticipating that the winds will probably be between 15 to 20 knots. Now, we're not going to say that it's going to probably max out to 20 knots, but we may be on the lines of 15 knot winds, which is going to be somewhat of a difficulty for our bigger banners. But outside of that, you know, it, that's just how it works when we have a strong system that moves through. Tynes is advising the Junkanoo Committee to continue to watch the weather over the next few days, adding that much depends on whether the system stalls or moves quickly over this area. Shashina Rolf-Arkison, ZNS Network News. 
The Platinum Knights John Canoe Group is bringing a delicious theme to the parade route this year. They are the defending champions, and Kimberly Mulling says come Monday evening, they plan to put on an unforgettable performance to secure first place once again. Our theme this year is come dine with us. Fast food and famous restaurants in Grand Bahama. Leader of the Platinum Knights John Canoe Group, Thomas Curry, says on New Year's Day, they are pulling out all of the stops from start to finish to win the parade on Grand Bahama Island. Spectators are in for a treat. Everybody knows when you hear the name Platinum, you expect good things, you know. Um, the Platinum Knights is coming out there to put on a great show for the, the Bohemian public and the foreigners. Whoever comes to see us, you know we always come out there to give a good show and Give everybody the culture at its best and do what we got to do. Last year we won every category hands down. Hopefully by God's grace we're going to do the same again because we took the bar up another level. And everyone is going to see when we hit the gate from start to finish you're going to see greatness. The New Year's Day John Canoe Parade is in honor of legend Ken Motorboat Ferguson. Curry came up under Ferguson and learned a lot from the John Canoe enthusiast. He told me before his passing that he loved what I'm doing, I'm doing a great job and he want me to keep it up. And following in his footsteps is a great thing and it's a great honor. Mr. Ferguson, the first time I beat him, he called my phone for a week straight and he said, oh, you only beat me by one point, you only beat me by one point. I said, but a beat is a beat. All you always should tell me, but don't worry, next time I will get you. He says he is pleased that the committee is choosing to honor motorboat in this way. For a guy like Ken Motorboat Ferguson and some of the other guys, the other older leaders in Ireland, I don't think we should wait until they pass to honor them. I think they should give them the just do us while they're alive. But we have to give it to him whilst he's not here. But I know he will be here in spirit because John Kuno was in his blood from birth. So it's a great thing they're doing. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. Now we are just days away from the 2018 Grand Bahama New Year's Day John Canoe Parade, which is being made possible thanks to a major sponsor by BTC. Joining me in studio now is the Vice President of Customer Experience, LG Ferguson Mackey. Tell us a little bit about BTC coming in board to sponsor this parade. Um, I think a lot of times people take for granted the investments and the sacrifices that's needed to put on a parade. Um, John Canoe is a beautiful display of Bahamian culture, but in order for persons to get downtown, they need funding, they need support, um, and they need good corporate citizens like BTC to come on board, not just for the financial support, to provide them um, with, you know, sometimes you need they need um, materials for costumes, they need um, places to um, have their equipment, etc. So it, it's a lot of things that we could do and BTC is just part of proud to be a part of it. Great. So tell us a bit about the tricks and the treats that ah. BTC will be bringing out on Monday. So of course everybody is waiting for BTC to get on the parade route so we're going to be there and the first thing that we'd like to do is we'd like to encourage you bring out your smartphones and your devices. We're going to have free Wi-Fi at the event so send those hashtags, those tweets, all of those little special photos and captures of the events we're going to be there. And of course, we have our promotional items. We're going to have all of those on displays. So your horns, your clackers, everything to make sure that you're going to be able to be a part of the parade. And who knows, I just got a call when we came in that maybe one of our brand ambassadors will be there on the parade route helping us out. So stay tuned and we want to encourage everybody to come on out. You mentioned how important it is for funding, but talk about why residents should come out on Monday and support this display of Bahamian culture. Um, I, I think, um, and especially after the tour yesterday, uh, you get a first-hand view of the work that went into the costumes and the pieces. So we want residents to come on out. Of course, you know, we're honoring a legend and uh, we want everybody to be a part of and take part in this great display of culture, but it's time, it's sacrifices. Speaking to some of the group leaders, they've been working on this since, since August. Um, so it's a labor of love. Um, and of course, if you spend so much time and invest so much time into something, you want to have a platform to display it. So let's, let's support them. Okay, perfect. There you have it. Monday, 5.59.59. The place to be is John Canoe on Grand Bahama. And now it is time to ask the doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Happy Holidays. Melba from New Providence asked, Over the Christmas holidays, I always put on a few extra pounds and sometimes I can't seem to lose them. How can I avoid the extra weight but still enjoy myself? Melba, thanks for your question. 
There are so many of us who have this struggle. However, with a little planning and attention, there are ways to enjoy all our favorite foods and drinks while we celebrate without embracing unhealthy habits. Some simple things we can do are avoid the party snacks. Don't waste your calories mindlessly munching salty or sugary snack foods. Save them for the big event, which is dinner and dessert. Snack on an apple or carrot sticks instead. Be selective, especially at buffets. Survey the offerings. What looks too good to pass up? What can you live without? Focus on what you'll enjoy, not how much you can squeeze in on your plate. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. And he's getting ready for the parade route on Monday. Mr. Bushwalker, Ricardo Lightburn is up next.